Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with even more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today's episode is all about finding the brand new Barbarian gear. Uh, we are over here in Lookout Landing, so we're going to head over in this general vicinity in Crenel Hills. If you zoom in, there should be some sort of cave in this general direction. So the nearest warp that we have from this is probably going to be Lookout Landing, flying all the way up into the air, putting on our glide outfit, and then gliding over to that section rather than sprinting on land. So let's find all three of these pieces of barbarian gear so that you can put them on and give yourself a times three attack boost. I don't know. I think that's what that is. I don't know if it's like actually times three, but like three little icons of attack up is uh, what we're aiming for. So anyway, we're gonna be launching and making our way all the way over to the spot. So that is my red pin over that way. Seems to be not too far. I don't think I even need my glide materials, um, to be honest. So, you know what I do need, though? I do need my little buddy. This is the best guy. There we go. There we go. And we got a lot of stamina over here, which was amazing. I love to see that. We got a lot more hang time this time around. Almost have the full wheels. I really want to go just knock out those shrines. I want to go knock out those shrines, but man, it's, uh, it's a lot of work finding those shrines and knocking them out. So I figured we kind of break up the monotony, get some outfits in the meantime, and then kind of go from there. All right, here we go. So there is a little bit of a technique in order to do a little bit more glider extension. Um, before the drop in speed, after Tulin's like little wind attack over here, if you quickly take away your uh, glider and then re-put it out by pressing B and then X, uh, you'll get a lot more like forward momentum while doing it. So give that a try. Give that a try. All right, I'm running out of stamina over here, but the cave is nearby, so this is going to be pretty good. I've never seen this cave, but it's in this general area, so let's go take a look. I need a clear view. I have a little bit of a stamina wheel over here, but I can't see anything. It's too cloudy. Gross. Why is it too cloudy like that? Is that a cave? That's a log, man. Why, why, dude? Okay, well, we're gonna look around over here for a cave. Oh, hi. <laughs> is that, ca no, this is not it. This is just the simple like-like stone structure. Maybe there's a cave over here, I don't know. Be looking around. I'm looking. I have not vetted this area, so I'm gonna go see what's going on with this. Oh wow, what in the world? It's like magma. <laughs> it's like magma. All right, I don't think I can attack that. But uh, we'll, we'll take flint, I guess. Hey, what do you know? It's a cave. Ooh! No. Okay, well, we found the cave. Crenel Hills Cave. Perfect. Yeah, this is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, perfect. We found the Crenel Hills Cave. They're giving us a lot of rocks over here. Wow. Okay. A hearty truffle. Excellent. Okay, look at this entire area right here. So we could start mining away. Wow. Okay, I broke that easily. Uh, Master Sword is back, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I need a rock of sorts. You could use uh, Yonobo if you have Yonobo. And there's a lot of bomb arrows over in this area too. So just from the looks of it. Oh, hi. What in the... Give me that 20 bucks just chilling on the ground under that rock. What? Since when? Alright, we're gonna keep on pounding through here. Wow. Yup, just like that. There we go. Okay, what, what did we get from that? <laughs> really nothing besides luminous stones? Uh, okay. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. Alright, cool. So we're doing a little bit of mining. Uh, let's actually head over to that one. I do believe I have one singular bomb. 
left, so I could just easily launch a bomb at that, or we could launch a Nobo. It's one of these. Oh my gosh. Well, that's totally a bomb that I'm going to have to throw. All right, so anyway, grab this. We're going to grab that. I've got, well, yeah, last bomb flower. Cool. Boom, shakalaka. All right, give me all that stuff. Flint, luminous stones. Hey, an extra bomb flower. Love that. Take some bright caps. And let's climb up here. Let's see what we can find. Oh, that's exactly where we want to be. Love it. Bomb flower. And voila. The barbarian armor. Nice. Okay. It boosts your attack power. So it's kind of like the fierce deity outfit. Uh, in case you didn't find the fierce deity outfit. So barbarian it is. Just wanted some basic attack up armor. So fun. I'm going to take these bomb flowers uh, on my way out of here. I'll do a little bit of mining. But uh, as you can see over here, not really caring too much about what's in this area. Of course, you could spend an entire 30 minutes or so exploring the area. But right now, we found our armor and we're getting out of there. Okay, so next up is going to be this little area over by the Rob Red Drop-Off. So if you take a look, this is by Kakariko Village. Directly over in this area, we should be able to find some sort of cave. So I'm going to warp over to Kakariko. We're going to make our way over there for the next piece of the Barbarian Armor. So Barbarian Armor is actually really cool because when you're fighting a boss and you have a boss in front of you and you're like, oh my gosh, how am I going to beat this boss? The first thing you should think about is which armor am I wearing? If you have the full three pieces of Barbarian Armor, then you're all set. You're going to do way more damage. But the thing is, it might ha not have enough defense for you because you probably didn't level it up. All right, so we're going to head over to purple. Uh, yeah, I'll make my way over to purple right now. It is raining, unfortunately, again. Ugh, I don't like the rain in this game at all. Because now I can't climb up there. Boo. Is that a cooking spot? Yeah, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to sit over here. I don't want to talk to this lady. Sorry, I'm just going to hang out over here and not say a word. For literally eight hours. Okay. So Blood Moon's happening, great. Whenever that happens, all the mining spots come back. So if you know of any mining spots that you've seen that are possibly golden, you can easily go back to those and harvest again. So that's a good thing about the Blood Moon. It's not just enemies that get respawned. It's uh, it's a lot more than that. All right, we're moving. We're moving through Kakariko. Uh, yeah, taking a look over here, that's really just a, a straight push all the way through. So let's find our way through there. Dun dun dun. Kakariko Village. You know, I haven't really done much. I didn't explore inside there. Maybe there's some gear or some other side quests that you can do. I know Kakariko was pretty big in the uh, in the first Breath of the Wild. But, yeah, haven't explored there yet. Silent Shroom, man. Now that I'm looking at all these different gear options and their upgrades, I'm taking the concept of foraging for materials on the side of the road very seriously because you never know what you're going to need, right? All right, anyway, so what we need to do is we need to head over that mountain uh, to essentially find this over here. I don't know why I grabbed Kakariko Village. I probably could have, like, flew over. But luckily for us, we got some uh, climbing gear, so... Where is that? Where's my climbing gear? Oh, man, just sort by set, bro. Here we go. Great. Climbing gear. Done. So I'm like a little spider on a wall. Now look at how fast I'm going with plus three climbing gear over here. Look at how fast. He's zooming. Yo, he's sprinting up there. It's great. Uh, I wish that the jumps used less stamina with the climbing gear. That would be really cool, but uh, that's apparently not a thing. All right, man. He was zooming up that mountain. All right, great. Let's go. There we go. See that little um, glider boost there? Super fun. Okay, well, it looks like we've got an area that I've never explored before. A little section. Kind of fun. Look at these flowers over here. I will gladly pick whatever they are. If they're even pickable. Oh, boo. <laughs> Dang. Alright, fine, fine, fine. I'm like, yo, you want materials now? Yeah, well, too bad. You ignored them throughout the entire game. How dare you? 
All right, so there's a cave somewhere over here. I couldn't tell you exactly where, and I'm hoping this is correct. Is that the cave? Yeah, that's the cave. Cool, we made it. Great. Okay, if this is a cave with a bunch of keys coming out, then I will 100% be ready for them. Boo. Nope, nothing. Okay, hi, a rock. This is Robra Drop-Off Cave. Treasure sleeps beyond the path shown uh, by the stone statues. Oh. A secret with stone statues. Look at these stone statues. What are they saying? Oh, uh, I guess they're saying go that way. Great. Well, I'll mine along the way. Yoink. Rock salt. Lame. Consolation prize. All right. They're facing this way, so I'm going to go here. Okay, great. Ow. Luminous Stone. Taking it. Luminous Stone is 20 rupees a piece, so you're gonna be good with that. Oh, hello, guys. Oh, uh, we have a, an entire family of them. Well, according to this, each of them are looking in a certain direction. We're gonna be following the, uh, the original three. The original three family Right? I think it was like a, a mom and, and two kids over here. That's exactly where we're going to be aiming for. So, let's do this. Oh, this is going to take a long time. I low-key want to bring in Obo. Or just, like, spin my way through. Great. I don't need you, Nobo. Although, that's, that's Unobo's one job. Is to just, like, literally break stuff. So, we'll see if this is the right path. Here's a uh, bomb flower, a singular. Okay, hi. Oh, that's a silver boy? Oh, friends. All right, come on out, my friends. Calling everyone. All right, let's go. Ooh, yeah. Come here. What you got? Nice. Every time. Nice telegraph there, buddy. How about your friend over here? How about this one? What you got? Let's go, man. You think I'm afraid of you? Get over here, little guy. Oh, they all have wooden shields, which is funny, because if you had some fire stuff, you could easily have a... Field day! Open this guy. Oh, there we go. Just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Beat him up, friends. Beat him up. I'm not going to throw that thing. Wow, I'm actually gonna do this. I haven't ever done this before. Looks like a cool idea. Yo, that belly. Look at this guy. Yeah, hit me. See what happens. Boom. Yeah, so if you fuse a, a bomb barrel to your shield, um, you can hide behind the explosion, but everyone else is gonna get hit by it. Ow. Jump! Oh my gosh, I'm like literally crouched. Hey, thanks. Alright, Master Sword, peaced out. <laughs> Silver but Coblin Horn, that's actually really good. Yeah, the Master Sword pieced right on out. <clears throat> Got some baked apples. Alright, great. Where's the family of three? Those are the kids. Oh, here we go. I guess we're doing this. Hey, Minoru. Or, you know, Bo. Yeah, you want to play? Let's go. Okay. That was great. Yo, Minoru needs an arm. Yeah, Minoru is actually good for something. Cool. Going in. Alright, alright, alright. Give me this bomb. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to take these big blooms because those sell for some money. I'm taking a second bomb. Awesome. And then we need to keep on going down and seeing what we can see over here. Yeah, Bright Bloom Seeds are very good. Hello. We'll need all the Bright Bloom Seeds for the depths as possible. Okay, Rock Hammer. Amber out of that. Uh, that's like 20, 10 bucks. It's not bad. Hey, 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 easy, easy. Yo, Minero, easy. What? What is she doing? Give me that! That's a sticky lizard. That's right. All right, so we got uh, the family of five. 
Looking at a gravestone. We got the family of three over here. Okay. All right. Well, these aren't really gravestones. These are ascension points. So we're following the family of three all through this entire place. Whatever they're saying, we're going to trust them because they were the first people that we saw. Taking a look inside here. Uh, yeah. Hello, friends. The family of three. And just like that. Wow. The Barbarian Helm. Nice. So, yes, you can absolutely come on board and explore the other areas of the of this cave to find probably like a bubble gem or something like that. But we came just for that piece of armor. Uh, so that's good. Barbarian Helm. We've got a Barbarian... What else? Let's go by set. Yeah. Barbarian Chest. Awesome. Okay. This is great. So we did that cave. Uh, we didn't do it 100%, but we'll come back to the caves and really explore them. Uh, next up is going to be heading over in this general area. There's going to be some sort of cave over here by the Rutsum Forest, uh, right to uh, next to the Hatino Village. So let's head on over east of Hatino Village to find the next area's um, little piece of armor. I think that'll be really fun. All right, all right. Do it. That's so good. I cannot wait to see what kind of cave this is. That was kind of fun, like going into the cave, saying like, at the end, you'll find it. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Following the triplets the entire way. All right, heading east. Let's do it. Oh, I need Tulin. Oh, oh yeah. You can't really call out your buddies inside towns. So I'm like, come on Tulin, where you at, man? Not happening. All right, taking a look over here, there's a long winding path all the way to where we need to go. So that being said, let's make our way up. Yeah, I can't wait to come back over here because you're going to be able to buy a house for Link a little bit later on. So I want to make sure I get enough money to go buy a house. I think that'll be so cool. And in this game, it's a lot like Animal Crossing, but better. You can pick and choose what kind of floors and rooms you have. You don't have to pay Tom Nook anything. You gotta foot out the bill yourself. So that should be really fun. I can't wait for it personally. Uh, you can choose like a, a sword room where you can hang up all your weaponry. Like if you find any like the legend weaponry from like either Amiibo or anything else. Or you could have a shield room. You could have an, uh, a bow and arrow room. You can have like a foyer. You have a bed. You have a kitchen. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff you can do. All right, here we are. We gotta go find a cave somewhere over here. Okay, might be down here. Let's take a look. Oh, there we go, cave entrance, done. Wow, all right, Tulin, let's do it. Walnut Mountain Cave. Man, I wish that upgrade materials were bright bloom seeds. That would be really fun, okay. Oh, there's a golden ore. Excellent. Usually I would save before the golden ore and then like reset in case I don't get anything good. I mean, sapphire is good. That's like 150 bucks. I'm okay with that. I was hoping for a diamond. But there's another gold one. So this is actually really good. And it's an amber and two topaz. Ah, that's not good. I don't actually know where we're going. Should we be taking the top route? There was a like-like over there. So there's going to be a little bit more um, things over this way. Yo, ice keys! Oh, man. Yo, get frozen! Help! Tulin, help! Ooh. Oh, it didn't touch me. Really? Tulin, do something! Man. Tulin. As much as I love the kid. I guess that's his weird spirit, so... Alright, well, it seems like this is some sort of ice cave. Well, uh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do about that? Where's my flame emitter? I'm gonna take that out, and I'm gonna put it on a shield of mine. Did I not take it out? Oh, shoot. Here we go. Where is it? Um, okay. 
All right, we're gonna flame through all these boys. Whoa, Tulin, easy, buddy. <laughs> Ouch, man. I was in that blast radius, guy. Oh, my gosh, I'm running low on health, Tulin. Oh, what a fun guy. And there's a bloopy. Tulin, attack it, man. A little blooper frog, whatever his name is. Bubble frog. Give me that bubble gem. Okay, well, we got some stuff happening. Let's see if Tulin can do some work. There's a lot of stuff. It's like an ice cave. Alright, what are we gonna do about this thing? It's got, oh, frozen, like, little waves of stuff. Yeah, I'm not, oh, there's like a little bacoblin in there? No thanks. Where's my bow, dude? Okay, um, I'm okay without that. These are like little, yeah, that's a moblin inside there. This is a, actually, I don't know. Oh, it's a treasure chest inside there. Yeah, it was worth it. I don't need to hit the like 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 forget about it. Giant boomerang, cool. Great. All right, bomb arrow it is. Thank you very much. I see a golden ore deposit over here, which is amazing. Thank you so much. Please be a diamond. Please be a diamond. And hey, sapphire is okay. Oh, and ruby's good too. So I'm alright with that. Consolation prizes, man. All right, we need to do some work. Something around this area is where we need to go. Okay, that can't be the end. No. Well, it's an exit, so there's something nearby that we just overlooked. And that's okay. Oh gosh, help me, who are you? What are you doing here? Tulin, where's the heads up, buddy? Oh, gosh. Tulin, man. Wow, Tulin. I'm blaming everything on him. <laughs> Great. Okay, okay, back to work, back to work. Let's take a look, let's take a look. Hmm, is this it? No, this is just another exit, and it's super cold outside, so I'm not going. All right, all right, all right, here we go. So let's kind of head back. Oh my gosh, okay. I was not ready for this. I was not ready for that big boy. He's a silver guy. Okay, I don't really have mining materials, but... Okay, let's do something. Fire fire Breath Lazal Blade. Improved, improved Flurry Rush. Ooh, here we go. Improved Flurry Rush. Let's see how improved it is. One, two, three, four. Okay, great. Hello? Hey, come on over here. Okay, big boy is low-key a little scary. I'm gonna call out the troops. Reju! Oh, nice. Now you do some attacks. Okay, flame meter shield is doing work. Whoa! Oh my gosh. This guy has so much health. Okay, I actually don't need that. Uh, he, we knocked him downstairs. I don't have to worry about him. Hey, nice shot. I gotta go, remind me to re-equip Minoru with some stuff. Okay, so, yeah, we just had to go on the top route. We took the bottom route before, so that's good. I don't think Minoru has anything. So, I'm gonna go over here with some cannons. I'm gonna take out two cannons. So that Minoru can actually do stuff and not just have, like, draggy arms. Where's my second one? Ow! Yo, who's got my back? I'm out here trying to get Minoru going. Oh, what are these? What are these little guys? Sticky lizards. Look at you falling on my head. Alright, come on, let's go. 
Okay, okay. Flame emitter shield. We gotta do some stuff over here. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Equip that. Let's do another flame emitter shield, and we should be all set. Flame emitter. I got seven of these, so I'm good. I didn't see you in there. Whoa, yeah, nice. Whoa, okay, hi. Hit me again. Thank you. Dude, this, is a, this dude, dude is ragdolling right now. Minner's got new cannons. She's showing him off. Do it. Okay, he just fell. So we're kind of done with that. There's a huge cave up here, man. What in the world? Hey, watch it. Okay, well, um, this is kind of the beginning. Yeah, shoot him. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's another little stash. Ow! Oh! oh, man, I'm just like, I'm living my best life over here. Please don't. You monkey. Get down there. Ragdoll down there. You? Get owned. Headshot. Give me that truffle. Who else is up here? Hey, can you guys knock him out, please? I'm taking their steak. I'm taking their food. Oh, gosh. Don't poke me! These, these monkeys are throwing... Oh my gosh, these guys are the worst! Come on, boys, let's get him. Tulin! I legit lost. Cool. Mm, mm, I haven't been cooking. I have so many ingredients, but I haven't been cooking. <laughs> I don't like those monkeys. The horriblings are the. They're so horrible. And I don't even see what's happening. And then all of my, my units over here, they're just standing around doing nothing to help me. So there's also that. Alright, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with these clowns. There we go. Eat one. You want some of this? You get one too. You get to crack down. Master Sword's power has been restored. Excellent. You want some? Let's go. Great. Yeah, yeah, get down there. Alright, next. Who's here? Ah, oh, wasted. Yo, these guys are nimble. Yo, Jack be nimble over here. Yeah, yeah, you don't like that, huh? You don't like that. Get him, guys! Please! What is- what do you do? <laughs> oh. I'm like, Sidon, what do you actually do here? Besides look cool and smile, what do you do? <laughs> like, alright, I guess I'll just take your silly water shield and now it's gone, so great. Alright. That's a blue one. What are we doing in this cave? It's taking way too long. Alright, alright, he's fast. I get it, I get it. I'm stealing his stuff. May I have this, please? It's not what I wanted, but it's, I'll, it's what I'll take. Yeah, that's right. Oh, he's gone underneath. Uh, I don't really want to be there. Sidon, outside of looking pretty, what do you do? Okay, so I guess we're at the beginning of this cave. From what it looks like. You could take a top route or a bottom route. So, yeah, I just, I guess I took the bottom route. Let's take the top route again and see where we can find. Oh gosh, no. I'm in the unbearable cold. No, man. That was not where I wanted to be, but I will head back into here. We will find our way through again. Okay, great. Yeah, we're gonna take top route. The treasure chest that we're looking for has to be in here somewhere. Done it, done it.
Okay. Maybe it's inside that little ice cube that we're kind of looking for. We didn't beat up that ice-like either. And there's some other ice things happening over here. It, I don't think this is it. It has to be like in a shrine looking place. So we're gonna be looking around a little bit over here. I'm inspecting anything I can. I see the ice likes. I see a sticky lizard. I see the big boy that we abandoned. Okay. Wow. Key swing. Okay, great. Look at this guy. Hey, where'd your buddies go? Get sh What? You have full health? Okay, I have a bow out. I don't know if I- Wow! Point blank. Great. Oh, I don't be believe I just witnessed that. And he's down. Okay, great. Which is- where are we going? Where are we going? I'm gonna take these and make them like icicle weapons. Okay, I'm gonna go over there and break those like icicles and see what's up. Ice to meet you. There we go. Get them, boys! Please do s Minoru! Please do something! This is the worst part of the game, I swear it. Oh! He's getting frozen from the ice likes shots. I understand now. The ice like is launching the ice attacks at him. Yes! And he's in between that. I'm gonna eat one too. This is fair. Dude, what? Lingering ice? Okay, that's very bad. We need to get rid of this thing. Yo, that lingering ice, though. Not okay. Yo, this thing is dangling! This is a threat. Dangle city over here. Oof. Okay, good. I don't... This is an, another moblin. This is a treasure chest. What's... Where's Minoru going? Where are we going? <laughs> where's my thing at? That's some sort of boss. There's gotta be like another cave entrance or something along those lines here. Dun it, dun it. Oh, is that it? Is, is that it? Did we find it just now? Oh, oh, hello. It's just out in the open, but kind of tucked away. All right, I got this hot weapon over here. I could just use the hot weapon since it's over here. I could use that to melt it. Just standing there. I don't need to use my shield. Although I can if I want. Link is just so hot next to it that it just he just melts ice. And there we have it. Barbarian leg wraps. Wow, what an episode. Oh my gosh, that was so exciting. Just going through and finding those. Give me those leg wraps. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, get rid of the bow. Get rid of the shield. Get rid of the sword. And uh, let's take a little spin, shall we? And this is Link over here with the barbarian gear. Looks awesome. Reminds me of Professor Sada uh, in Pokemon Scarlet. So that's actually really fun. Okay, so now that we got that gear, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to eliminate all of these little stamps over this way. We're gonna head on over to a nearby, uh, I think we're gonna go to a fairy fun. I like Terra. Terra's actually really cool. So we're gonna go say hi to Terra. She's the closest one, so. I figured we can go see just what the upgrade materials are for the Barbarian outfit. So we can just like permanently wear it and have the plus three attack boost whenever we're attacking enemies. So not only does it attack, but it'll also protect as well if you choose to level it up. So that's fun. This was really, that was hard to do. I'm, uh, yeah, going into those caves and like attacking those enemies without any healing items, man. That is, uh, that is quite a thing. I think what I'll do um, between 
now in the next episode is actually head on over to like a cooking spot and like really cook some meals because I've been um, farming a lot of meat for rupees more recently rather than meat for meals. So, all right, it'll be fine. Like if you have like the raw prime meat or the raw gourmet meat, like those give a lot of hearts. So anyway, here we go. What's up, Tara? It's me again. Hi, hi. All right, hello. Yes, yes, yes. You can enhance it to the max. We're going to go. I'm going to go take a look at this barbarian gear. Oh my, where is it? Oh goodness. Mighty Thistle. Ah, I need Mighty Thistle in order for that to happen. And the barbarian armor needs Mighty Thistle. And the leg wraps need Mighty Thistle. Where am I finding such a small ingredient from? I have no idea. But I'll find it eventually and we'll get it. So... You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for watching this episode. Uh, it was a little bit longer one, but we made it and it was super fun. You guys are great. I'll see you on the next one where we got another very important set to get. It is none other than the minor set. So look forward to it and we'll see you there. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.